podcast so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. Well, I like how we just missed spring. We didn't even have a spring. <laughs> we had like a week. And then today felt truly like a spring day. But it it's did. June, 20, June 30th. Yeah, and here we go. July 1st coming in with some thunderstorms. We're going to heat up quickly. Yep. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, we live with everything. <laughs> We're missing snow, though, but I'm not no. going to rule that out, I guess, the way things are going. But you know what? Tomorrow morning, impact. Reason why? Because scattered showers and thunderstorms. Timeline between 5 o'clock in the morning to about 12 noon. So when you're heading back to work, uh, many of you will be dealing with some uh, moderate to possibly heavy pockets of rainfall and some thunderstorms go with it. That's why we've made that an impact and it looks as though things will taper off and look fairly good for the afternoon and still somewhat comfortable tomorrow afternoon. Now let's talk about Tuesday. What's going to happen Tuesday is the heat really kicks in. We're talking about a temperature in the afternoon of 95 degrees. Our uh, heat index value anywhere from 103 to 107. And then by later in the afternoon to the evening hours, we have to deal with a slight risk of strong to severe weather. How about that for a day? OK, so heat, humidity, thunderstorms all on your Tuesday. Another impact day. All right. And the, the area that's probably uh, the keep the focus will be north of I-70, both on the Kansas and Missouri sides. And the main threats will be damaging wind and also large hail. All right. We're not going to completely rule out our tornadic activity. It's on a very, but it's very, very low on that scale. And that is good news. What's great news is how comfortable it is outside on a Sunday afternoon, the last day of June. 77 degrees, dew point at 56 to 58, relative humidity at 52%. Wind speeds about 10 miles an hour and the pressure is beginning to drop. Look at these numbers. I'm excited for it. I mean, we talked about this yesterday and here we are. 77 Marshall, 78 Odessa. All right, Lawrence, you kind of squeezed out an 80 degree mark on us, but the rest of us in the mid upper 70s and feeling nice with that east northeast breeze about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Shifting more to a south breeze uh, coming tomorrow, especially a southeast breeze. A little bit of cloudiness out there. No threat of rain for, our, for us, so a little bit of light rain out to the central portions of Kansas. Uh, but the entire central plains of Midwest enjoying a nice break from the heat. If you are heading out this evening, how about that? Just a few clouds here and there. Down to 73 at 10 o'clock, 72 right before midnight. Now, your timeline for tomorrow, 4 o'clock in the morning. Look at the wall of rain coming across eastern Kansas into Kansas City. That's at 7 to 7.30 in the morning. It moves over into west central Missouri. Around 10.30, we start to see the light rain on the tail end of it kind of move away from us. So by 12 noon, 1 o'clock, you'll start to see a little bit of clearing off to the west and then some sunshine. So to break it down number-wise, there are your impact hours for the morning. Afternoon, finally some sunshine. But the high tomorrow, 80 degrees, still below normal. Enjoy that because why Tuesday's high 95 heat index about 103 to 107 in most areas. 84 scattered showers on Wednesday, scattered showers on Thursday, and then finally drying out Friday and Saturday highs of 83 and 85.